What's up guys, I'm Ryan Maker from RC Maker and today I'm going to introduce to you a brand new product of ours, the Geocarbon HD Weighted Tweak Wheel Set for 12th scale. Check it out. Our Geocarbon Weighted HD Tweak Wheel Set for 12th scale makes detweaking your 12th scale easier than ever. As you can see, we've got a basically scaled down version um, of the tweak wheels that we had for the touring car with bearings inside them. We also have A-frames for the rear, that bolt, as you can see, already installed on the rear hub here. Um, they're a really nice tight fit to ensure that uh, the distance between the axle and the ground is exactly the same, which is obviously critical for doing a tweak. And we also have some nice black anodized uh, with a nice RC Maker laser engraved logo. Um, and there's spaces for the axle at the front because obviously we need something to take up the extra room there. So guys, for today I'm going to be doing this on an Automatics A12, um, but we actually have two different versions of these tweak wheels because normal 12 scales have a different size front axle to the Automatics A12. So we do have two versions. There's an A12 set and then basically an everything else set. Um, you'll see today that I'm going to be tightening these little screws on the front here. Um, it's exactly the same on a normal 12 scale, except you're just going to be tightening the nut. Uh, so do exactly the same process um, when you're using a, these on a normal 12 scale as well. So I've already got the rear ones installed like this. If you're using a spool, you'll need to loosen the clamp and actually slide it so that the, both of these A-frames are perfectly vertical, which is probably not a bad thing anyway if you haven't done that already. Um, and if you're using a diff, it doesn't matter because the diff will obviously work that out. So guys, I'm going to install these and show you exactly how they work. So you can actually keep the spaces on here uh, with the automatics as well. You don't actually have to take them off. So first we're going to slide these on, both sides. It's quite fast to install, it's not too much messing around. And then we're going to install our little sleeves on top of that. Slides in. So with these screws, don't do them up crazy tight. They're basically going to pinch the bearing down, so you can see you just do it up nice and snug. So these are developed, as I said, so you can keep the axle spaces on so you don't forget them when you're putting your wheels on. All right, so let's see these bad boys in action. So as you can see, they're all mounted up, electronics are in, the car's set up, ready to go. Now it's time to do your tweak. So first of all, what you want to do, put your tweak wheels um, vertical so that the weight is horizontal to the ground. Um, and then we're just going to press on the back of the battery and on the servo. We just want to seat the suspension nicely. Now what we're going to do is take a driver and locate exactly the center of the front bumper and then we're going to lift up very slowly. Keep lifting until you see one wheel spin. Uh, you can see now this wheel spun, this one's still at the same uh, position. So th what that tells us is this wheel is lifting up earlier. So now we need to counteract that. So if you look at the car's balance, if this wheel's lifting up earlier, then it means the car's leaning this way. So in sense, we have to lower this side of the car. So we need to unscrew the side of the car that's lifting up first. So if whatever one spins first, you unscrew that side. And I like to do the opposite to the other side. So we unscrew that side, about a sixteenth of a turn, screw in this side. And do the same amount left and right. So we want to unscrew the side that's lifting early, and that's, that applies always. Make sure your tweak wheels are vertical again, and let's go again. Nice and slowly. Still coming in a bit early. So we reset them again, unscrewed the side that's lifting early, got a little bit more, and screw in the opposite side. Try again. Reset the tweak wheels to vertical, press the battery and servo, and let's relocate it in the center, and let's try again. Nice and slow. You can see that's a lot closer now, so we're getting there. These were a little bit early. All right, we should be really close this time. There you go. Guys, that's basically perfect. You're not really gonna get too much better than that. So if you wanna check it again, you can keep checking it, um, but that is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. You could spend hours getting it exactly right, but um, I believe that's, that's pretty much um, as good as it needs to be to have a great performance on the track. 
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, after you've done all of that, undo these two screws, screw your wheel wheels back on, take out these two screws, or if you're using another 12 scale, just remove the nut. Um, as I said, with the nut, don't over tighten it, just snip it up just like this, just so you're locating the, the, this thing, uh, the spacer against the bearing. The spacer should not spin. Um, it should be tight enough that the spacer is locked there tight, but you don't have to go crazy on it. You can also use it um, with your rear tires if you want. You don't have to use it um, with the A-frames. However, the A-frames do give you a perfect basis to work off, so I would recommend doing that. And the car's also sitting at a normal ride height front and rear, so it doesn't throw anything else out. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, check them out of the link below. Let us know what you think. If if you have any questions, just reply below um, or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you. Enjoy. Cheers.